now um so someone had asked what is the best age to start using retinol and do, would you recommend over the counter products or should someone consult a doctor and then uh, start using a particular cream uh you, ideally you could consult a doctor that would be a good thing to do um and then but what you could do is there's lot of retinol dehydes that means that's available over the counter if you what they do is sometimes they kind of set, make your skin more sensitive so it could be a very um, people with very red skin like i said rosacea sensitive skin uh, dry skin i would recommend them not to use uh, retinol dehyde on your own there are other things like peptides which can also do a similar job but without giving you the irritation uh, you could end up using that from the age of say 25 that's the work and the other thing that you could use retin retinol dehydes is for an acne skin if you're younger that's your only indication so very oily mm. it really benefits from <clears throat> younger but otherwise 25 is a good time to start right and with regards to acne and uh, so well there were there, there are two questions related to acne one is a long term solution and the other one is uh, most girls develop a pimple one night before they have to go out so the immediate solution the sos solution sos solution is always a tiny little bit of a steroid with an antibacterial maybe just to apply there because ideally it's benzoyl peroxide that i really like and some anti inflammatory to dot but that if you don't do it judiciously well can itself lead into irritation of the skin hmm. so ideally any steroid with a tiny antibiotic just once will do the magic but if it is an area please don't do steroid and antibiotic together that's the worst thing to do together so don't do that this is like a secret magic that you only use on an emergency day and just once and never again and in the long term a lot of people get acne i know there are many causes behind that but what should one do what should be their first step so i just it's like you rightly said acne is a wide topic a lot can go right and got go wrong and it's difficult for me to explain all of that online but a few things that you must do is first go to a doctor hmm important because acne has so many causes and you will be happy to know that it can be 100% treated especially in my clinic i literally give a time and a date when i can clear an acne so if i say 3 months i will make sure your acne goes in 3 months so that's because wow. we see that the diagnosis is right so it is important for you to go to your doctor and get your diagnosis right it could be simply some hormonal changes it could be nutritional imbalances it could be stress it could be genetic it could be 10 other things it could simply be dermatitis or dandruff that you've had so it's important for you to understand why you have your acne in the first place and then you go and meet the doctor and it can all be treated so people suffering from acne don't say oh we tried it didn't work so we just live with it that's because you didn't try the right way so please meet the doctor we can completely take care of it so this is something that you must do what you should not be doing which is more important for you to know please don't buy over the counter specially antibiotics and use it because that will never treat your acne firstly to it will cause resistance which means then even for your mm. doctor because do not buy over the counter steroids do not buy them so most important you don't do this don't pick an acne don't end up thinking oh i'll go to the friendly neighbor salon and then just get them all extracted don't do that don't take a needle at home and just pick and open it yourself don't do that so these are the don'ts and these are the do's the scalp care skin care keep it clean first thing you can do at home before you meet your doctor uh, and then get your diet right start working out watch your weight so these are a few things that you can do <laughs> 